Ah, uh, we're back with the Opie and Anthony program. The ONA virus spreading across America. Second day in Washington, D.C. Dee Dee, getting ready for the news. Dee Dee, you ready for the news? Not yet. I was just asking if she's ready. It looks like she's she ready. Is she is so ready. She jumped up uh, out of her seat and started running yep. toward the studio. So we'll get her on in a few minutes. Why does she have on a leather mask this morning? <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's like, can I just do the news today and not get spanked? But I think she really wants to get spanked again. Of course she does. That's why she I, mentioned it. I have a feeling that she would like a few more uh, slaps to her rear. I don't want to get spanked. So what's I've going on bad. back in... All right, let's get Dee Dee in here to do the news. We're going to actually do real radio today. Here someone comes... said that Poe laughing, it's the kind of laugh someone gives right before they crack your windpipe with a knife edge yeah. of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hi. <laughs> Here she Hello. is, ladies and gentlemen, D.D. D. That was a nice hello. Thank you, Norton. Oh, you're welcome. D.D. D., uh, brought in all sorts of stuff for us today. I'll little say. goodies and tidbits that uh, delve into our personality a little more. Oh, yeah. Kind of cool. Well, you tell me to bring something, so I brought some stuff. Yeah, well, she used to do her own radio show as yes, Lisa Simpson. On Hot 99.5 in D.C. In D.C. Do we have a, a, a clip of, yes. of D.D., D., a.k.a. Lisa Simpson, doing her radio show? I got him play it before we get a season to assist. Yeah, she t- she, yeah, she talks about uh, what? Uh, Shepard Smith? Yes. Oh. She has a thing for Shepard Smith, Anthony, during this break. Uh, Steve, if we could go I to that to tape. A gun. Oh. Oh. Simpson, head into the hotline. Who is this? Renee. Renee, yes. can I ask you something? I have to talk about this. I have a problem. I have a little addiction here. Do you watch Fox News? Yes. All right. I'm addicted to Shepard Smith. I don't know what it is. It's like when he does that little G-block segment and he gets so riled up. <laughs> hey, you know what? Whatever it takes to get me to watch the news. Hey, how about this? Go Shepard Smith. Mm, G-block. <laughs> that G. Better G. <laughs> I wasn't even going there with that. How did you leave her? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You're bad. I'm going to be getting bad in this long, uh, hot streak next. Little John Kelly Clarkson, Justin Timberlake, whatever you want right now. one 877 99 Hot streak being brought to you by AutoZone. And there she goes. Lisa Simpson, a.k.a. Uh, D.D. or whatever. Your, 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 <laughs> your delivery, they're going to get hot with the name with that voice and the name Lisa Simpson. <laughs> right. It's kind of hard to get hot. <laughs> Hey, you know, you know. And we're going to get bad with some Kelly Clarkson coming up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was only doing my job. And, and you were, yeah. and you were talking about uh, your G spot, it looks like. Well, the she G-block. brought that up. I said G block. Yeah, the G block. Because he does a segment called the G block. You ever see Shepard Smith, Jimmy, on uh, Fox News? I, I know who he is. I don't know who he looks like. He's the guy that looks like a mannequin. He does not. I don't know <laughs> he, he looks like a, a mannequin. <laughs> I just, he's really just possessed. You really like him? Yeah, well, he has a lot of energy. Yeah, he's got energy. He's very entertaining as when he, he does the As news. he steps on that gas pedal and runs over a colleague on a yeah. parking lot over a I, parking I, space I and gets arrested. That. Yeah, yeah. One, freak. One of uh, many guys that trashed us when we were in trouble and then yeah. look into his past and go, whoops. Wait, yeah. he trashed you guys? Oh, my oh, God. Completely. Who didn't? Completely well, trashed like us him. as, like, dirt bags because of the same past thing. But I must say, um,. I've yet to have a mugshot taken there, Shep. I've seen yours for for trying to run a woman over for a parking spot. What a what a douchebag he is. I don't know whether to hate him or really respect him for that. <laughs> That's just a dick. Yeah, I'm like spot broad, punk. <laughs> <laughs> broad. Hey, we got to back up just slightly because Stalker Patty wants on the program to tell everyone she has a sense of humor. Oh. Stalker Hello. Patty, what's up? What's up? I just wanted to say I have a sense of humor. You just have to understand that it's only a show, and that's what Master Poe has to do. He See, can't no. take See, it seriously. See, this is the beauty of this phone call. Master Poe, we're obviously, you know, messing with. Stalker Patty, everything we say about you is is the God's honest truth. We're not making jokes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I wanted to say hi uh, to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way I'm going to meet her. <laughs> what? It's the only way I'm going to meet her. Meet, meet who? who? Uh, Dee Dee. I wanted to say hi. Oh, God. Could you turn your radio down in the background? I think it's the other I don't have oh. anything on. <laughs> I'm outside. Oh, my apologies. No, we still have a uh, slight delay on the phones for some reason. 
today. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, D.D. is going to pretty much take over for Stalker Patty on the program. Uh, <laughs> You're real funny. I found all my childhood pictures, by the way. I had to look for them, but I got them. Oh, you... You did? Uh, you yeah. got to come up when we're uh, back in New York and drop them off. Pictures of Patty from well, when she was living in the foster homes and the uh, going to the the <laughs> fellowship. Yeah, I was cute as a little hey, kid. Patty, it was adorable. Patty, where, where, where'd you find the pictures? Were they on unwantedburden.com? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The foundling but center. Some of them are we hang out with know? a collection of misfits. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. I can't wait to see her little pictures of yeah. her, her little orphan. I need yeah. to bring those by tomorrow, I guess, Stalker Patty. She still has the same sure. feet she did back I then. emailed Ben to tell him I was <laughs> coming, so I didn't hear back, but it takes a couple of days for that anyway. So I'll see you all tomorrow all right. then, okay? And I'll bring some all you asses have All you asses need to be on guard because we found Dee Dee. We're finding all new people to replace all the old hacks from this radio program. <laughs> old so, leeches. So if you guys want to continue being a part of this program, you're going to have to try uh, even harder. Good point, Oak. <laughs> Including yeah. you, Stalker Patty. Most yeah. of our misfits have been just calling it in for years, Anthony. That's it. They just sit there and, and take in all the glory and the fame. Riding on past glory. Right. They don't try as hard anymore. And now oh. we got this go-getter in studio, Dee Dee. Yeah. That's going to make everyone look <laughs> silly. That's right. <laughs> Bye, Patty. All right. Patty. Well, it's nice meeting you, Dee Dee. Dee Dee, do you like Patty? <laughs> Wait, do you, do you <laughs> like Stalker Patty? I just said bye. I was being nice. Nah, that was a little more than nice. No, there was something going on in that voice. That was a <laughs> that was a sorry right. scumbag type of bye, Patty. Uh, Stalker Patty, what, you, what? Stalker Patty, what do you want to say to Dee Dee? Hi. What a pleasure to meet Hi. you. Hello. <laughs> pleasure to meet you, too. Not really, though, right? No. Look, if she's out of the picture, you get a lot more air time. Okay. I, I just want to let you know that right now. Okay, Patty. <laughs> See, I know how this game works. Today. Hit them against each other. You hear that? They're funny, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. You ever tell Patty, you yeah, should listen right, to the show yeah, a little closer enjoy. because we're, we're starting to obsess over Dee Dee here. I, we think I she can bring us some great radio in, in the future. I listen to all the replays because I got to work during the show during the weeks, and I've been enjoying it. I love it when you go to Washington. <laughs> all right, thank you. Okay. We got this bit we want you to do. We want you to read out of a porn magazine. Okay. Ooh. Also, uh, Anthony. You know what? I got whipped. I might as well do that. Really? Sure. sure. Wait, I think I got. I'm a, a team player. I think I got a hustler in my bag. Oh, <laughs> what, what, what a lucky coincidence, Hope. Oh my God, Jay! <laughs> oh, swank in the uh, control room. Swank hustler and swank. <laughs> uh, Patty's laugh is only slightly less believable than Poe's. And Poe needs. Uh, we ought to put. Poe needs uh, a spanking from Dee Dee. <laughs> Someone needs to lighten up. We I'll put come a, to New York and spank him. Sure, I'll bring my whip. Someone's suggesting we put a hiccup at the end of O&A Party Rock. <laughs> like a, a drunken hiccup. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be great. No, Steve on that. <laughs> All right, Ben's going to find some stuff that he can read out of Swank and Hustler, okay? <laughs> swank. <laughs> also, don't tell my mom about that. Oh, though, we're yeah. calling your mom about something else today. Yeah. Remember we were talking about uh, Jim Norton and his problems with uh, yeah, prostitutes? Hooker, well, yeah. Jim Norton's mom listens to the program, and Jim Norton's mom left a message on his voicemail. Oh. And it's a great, great voicemail. We've played it a million times, and we're going to play it for your mom today. I'm sure she'll look forward to that. You know, one mother uh, maybe giving uh, you know Jim advice. My yeah. mom's good with that. All right. See, and also, good. also, really fast, you, <laughs> you brought in some newspaper clippings. We've got to get this on the website as well. Way back in the day, you won like a Amy Carter lookalike contest or something. Yeah, I was an Amy Carter lookalike. Have you guy. seen this? No. <laughs> it, it was in the newspaper. Yeah. What paper is that? That it, went, it was an AP photo, so it went out all oh, over. Oh wow! That, that one's the Detroit one that he has in his hand. That was probably a uh, Sun Times or something in Chicago. Wow. Yeah, I got to work with Barbara Eden at the Chicago Auto Show, waving to people in a miniature Dodge. You were in a little car. And you, you, 
You looked like uh, Amy Carter. Yeah. And you would wave to me. Hi. She looks exactly like Amy Carter you in this photo. A weird coincidence. Around the same year, uh, Ben's liver won a Billy Carter's liver <laughs> look-alike contest. <laughs> <laughs> look at Ben. Ben shakes his head, doesn't even look at Jimmy, and just makes this disgusted face. The alcohol Billy is Car seeping through his hair right now as we speak. <laughs> Billy Carter just called and said, I'm ruining his reputation. <laughs> Ben's the only one that sweats alcohol that I know. <clears throat> anyway, there's, there's a picture uh, that says, this Amy doesn't need the Secret Service. What's what's the next best thing to being someone famous? Why? Looking like someone famous. Uh, That's how Deanna of uh, Juliet, Joliet. Joliet. Uh, feels anyway. Deanna is a dead ringer for Amy Carter, the president's daughter, and that's why she had photographers flocking around her at the opening of again. photographers. Oh, uh, photographers! Sorry, photographers <laughs> flocking around her at the opening of the Chicago automobile show this past weekend. Yeah. So that's your claim to fame when you were younger. You looked just like Amy Carter. Yeah. Wow, man. And and I hear tell that you actually had a. Uh, a correspondence with Amy Carter? Yes. Um, we used to correspond. We used to get postcards from her. I'll really? bring some of those in next That's cool. time you guys are here. What did they say? Like, Just, you're... hi, I'm glad you're my friend. It's fun living in the White House, stuff like that. It's fun living in the <laughs> White That's House. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that, that you think, were they written, handwritten? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. Right yeah. on. Take good care of those things? They yeah, it would be cool items. to see what she looks like now. But yeah. yeah. How old yeah, is she? How old is uh, Amy Carter? Well, she's a year older than me. Oh, okay. Well, how old are you? Upper 30s, 36, I think, right? 37. Yeah. I'm 36. Young upper 30s. I guarantee you're hotter than <laughs> than uh, the present day Amy Carter, Dee Dee. Okay. Thank you. Let's say hi to Mike as we uh, get to know Dee Dee a little more because she's going to be taking oh, the place of Dee someone Dee on this Dee program. Dee Dee, sweetheart, you have got the most ultimate voice. I got my 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 fi and I God, I had you last night listening to you. <laughs> oh sure my like God! That. You're incredible. You guys got to put her on all the time. If you're really going to get well, a newscaster, she's got to be your newscaster. Well, I think she's going to be a part of the program. She really impressed us yesterday. Oh, you guys! I'm telling you, that was one of the best bits I, I heard yesterday. That was, oh God! I can't even tell you how Look good at that this was. guy. It's like uh, Pat O'Brien. <laughs> He's in a frenzy. Yeah, yeah. Rich yeah. in Connecticut. What's up, Rich? Hey, how you doing? Hi, dude. We're hanging with Dee Dee again today. Hi, Rich. Hi. <laughs> um, we were just wondering, because the entire uh, crew is obsessed with Dee Dee now, if she ever experimented with women in college or on the side, seeing how she's a little bit freaky. <laughs> no, no women. But no never women. say uh -huh. never, right? Oh, you're so open to anything, yeah. right? <laughs> no, but, you know, never say never. That's what right. my mom always says. Wow, I'm sorry <laughs> she didn't mean that. Uh, I don't think yeah. she was talking about, like, <laughs> licking pussy. Which yeah. Wow. <laughs> all right. Like open. Dee Dee's mom said, I'm all about the cock. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. No, 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 no women. You're confusing mm -hmm. your mom's advice for some naughty, naughty no, things. Uh, no women. All right, well, uh, Dee Dee's in studio again today, Anthony, and, yes. and she's going to do the news for us. Do we have the teletype, or are we just going to go to the news with uh, Dee Dee? <laughs> and oh, the, those guys are working hard. They're looking through the pornos to get some really, really saucy stuff for you to read. Let's uh, see what this saucy. muscle shirt. <laughs> oh, is that uh, turning you on a bit? <laughs> well, the tattoos he wants everybody to see, obviously. Very cozy. Well, Steve, get in here. <laughs> oh, God. Dee Dee is like getting all turned on by by Martini Steve's uh, I like tattoos. It. Tattoos are cool. Yeah. What do you think, Dee Dee? They're interesting. Yeah, Steve's showing off some ink today. No, He's is, completely this is, sleeveless. This is lack of clothes. I ran out of clothes as of last night. The, oh, you did? Yeah, I, this is it for me. We, we're here for two days. Yeah, how did how you, you run, run out, out of clothes? clothes? Yes. You, I worked out for two days? I, I, I actually packed for, for three days, but I've worked out twice and sweated up two different outfits. Oh, so, wow. Sweated up. Steve, and I, Steve and I worked out after the show yesterday, Ooh. Anthony, yeah. and... Uh, the the gym has like the the heaviest uh, um, weights are twenty five pound you know uh, dumbbells dumbbells yeah, or whatever it's geeks you know oh uh, it was awful so you have to do like fifty reps to get any kind of yeah, workout you, you really have to do like fifty sixty reps to feel it so you wind up just working up this it's huge a geek gym that's why everyone yeah. here is like electronic geeks I know they, they're there shaking trying to pick up the ten pound weights. <laughs> Look, obviously I'm no <laughs> geeks. I'm obviously I'm no muscle man, but I like to you know try to you know stay in shape on the road. And I'm looking at this like, how are we ever gonna get a workout? And Steve's like, well, we'll just do 50 or 60 reps of each exercise. Well, yeah, but we did. But then the push-ups afterwards. Yeah, was, that that was killer. That was killer. So anyway, did you both do push-ups at the same time? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
Two Why? men. Yeah. Just making out. sure that one wasn't lying on his stomach while the other one was over him <laughs> doing push-ups. <laughs> so you like uh, the tattoos there, Dee Dee, huh? Sure. They're creative. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right. Are we ready nice for the news? Nice colors. Are we? Yeah. Why don't we hit the news bed? And now with the news, it's Dee Dee live from Washington, D.C. Okay. This is bigger than the Scheibel case. American Idol. Anthony's a huge American Idol fan, by really? the way. I missed a little, little bit of it last night. Though. Well, you're going to get to see it all over again tonight because they put the wrong numbers under some of the contestants. Oh, and they have a solution to this now? Yeah, they're going to redo it tonight, and then we get a vote, and then they'll let us know tomorrow. Oh, look at that. They're stringing us along an extra day yeah. for this week, though. Who do you bastards. like? Um, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> I like the blonde bimbo from the, the middle of nowhere, the farmer's daughter. The country girl kind of like. Yeah, I like her too. Yeah. I like Bo. Bo's awesome. Who's Bo? The rocker dude with the long hair. Oh yeah, the rocker dude. There's two rocker dudes the in there. The one with the long blonde hair. One that's not bad. He's he's got a pretty good voice and yeah. his stage presence and stuff. And then that Constantine Jackoff, <laughs> who's like a wannabe. No, I don't like him. I like the Bo guy, the cute one. That is awful. So you're still watching American Idol? I get, like I said, I gave yeah. up after the uh, the auditions or whatever the. Uh, when they were, you know, picking the f- the first people to go on. I got back to the room a little late last night. We were all out partying, so I only uh, caught half of it. Oh, I was in it. Oh, eight thirty. I walked into the hotel room. So, after three glasses of wine, woo! <laughs> I was like Poe. I was just ripped. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I, I want Poe to win. So, okay, in Florida, Shivo. Yeah. Uh, they're a little bit distraught. So um, every all their friends and they're saying all the people that the judges and everything that decided not to reinsert that thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's called a feeding tube. <laughs> the, the feeding, feeding tube. tube. I got distracted. Thing. They're calling Pat O'Brien's them O'Brien's t- cock. Yeah, <laughs> no, they're calling them all tyrants. <laughs> the judges tyrants because they don't agree with it. And really? Yeah. Well, the, so. the feeding tube stays out, right? Stays yeah. out. The judges it stays have out. Ruled. But that's what she... Well, her husband says that's well. what she wants, so, I mean, that's what she wants. Yeah. I don't know if I believe the husband 100%. Why? Yeah. Yeah. He's got his motives. Uh, you know, he's, he, he just wants to move on with his life. He's got a he's got a new uh, chick that he wants to marry or... Right? They're just yeah. engaged or whatever because yeah. he can't really marry her until... Uh, a lot of that lawsuit money uh, you know, going to keep her alive. I think she should die. I, th- I think I- she. Sh- I wouldn't want to live like that. I'm saying it now in case yeah. you can't find me. Well, kill me. <laughs> but and what was that T-shirt, Anthony? You were talking about that was on. Oh, it said, "The hell with Terry Shivo." Mm. Let's stop feeding. Yes, yeah, stop oh. feeding. Kirsty Alley. Kirsty Alley. Oh that was it. God. That's a T-shirt yeah. that's becoming <laughs> very like popular. That. Yeah. Actually, that's kind of funny. Yeah, it's um, right yeah. up there with bull shirt. Bull shirt. Uh-huh. It's a shirt. And did you hear about the guy, the golf coach um, in Florida? The golf? The golf. Golf. You know golf? Oh, G-O-U-F? G-O-L. L. There's an L in there. How oh. can you say it? Golf. Because it's my accent say from Chicago. Say golf without the L. Golf. 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 This was given to me by the links of St. Andrews. <laughs> they invented the game, you know, called it golf without the L. I am from Chicago. I can't help it. That's how my mom talks. All right. Can you say that word again, please? You're playing golf today, yeah, Spalding. Okay. Can't wait to be golf. Spalding. Golf? Golf. Golf. <laughs> golf. Golf. What about the L? Uh oh, he's getting mad at something. Okay, golf? What? Golf. He keeps looking. Okay. So, um, the golf, golf. coach spied, uh, um, he spied on some female students from a gym ceiling perch. So he got caught doing that. Who was the guy yeah. in the ceiling? The golf. Coach got caught looking into the girls' locker room. Oh, was he? Wow, that rocks. He was. He put like a little thing in the ceiling Uh-oh. into their locker room. Put a so. peephole in the ceiling, right? Yeah, in Florida. Y- you and know that? So uh, he's gonna. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, no, go ahead. Well, it just brought back a memory. We've talked about it on the show a bunch of times. There was a uh, a gym teacher in my high school, and in his office. Uh, behind the cork board, there was a hole into the, the ladies' locker room. And he used to just peer in there? We all did. Nice. No, you didn't. I swear to you. Someone discovered this thing. So we would, uh, we were like uh, gym helpers or something. I forgot <laughs> exactly. I, I, I forgot what it was because we were all on, you know, on the basketball team and stuff. So we actually helped with gym and stuff. So we were able to hang out in this office whenever we wanted. So what we would do when we would have free periods, we would lock the door. This was the best thing that ever happened to me in high school, I'm telling you. It was unbelievable. And then I got to see all the girls that we thought were hot 
completely naked in the locker room. That's mm. completely naked showering, That's beautiful. Beautiful. coming out happen. of the showers. That's terrific. That would be scary if that. I don't think the. I mean the uh, the gym teacher retired many years ago, and I don't think he ever got caught. It was it was the, it was amazing. It was just one of those things that we knew about, and it was behind the cork board. So you lock the door, take the cork board down, and you just you just had the best view. Well, this guy for an hour suspended. straight or whatever, 45 minutes during that period. How big was the hole? Just a teeny little hole, right? Just enough <clears throat> that you, I, 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 you wouldn't be. I don't think you would be able to tell from the other side. No. It was unbelievable. That's scary. So, so the, the well, same. Well, he's going to be suspended. So the same pay. thing happened with this golf coach. Yep. He was. He had a um, a perch in the ceiling, in the gym ceiling, and looked right in. He wanted to look for. Uh, I guess he had something for the one of his fellow teachers, but he was looking at 11 and 13 year olds. Whoa. Yeah. Not cool. Ooh, that's not, not cool. cool. Um, and well, hot, but not cool. <laughs> guess who's pregnant? Uh, uh, Demi who? Moore? No, she hasn't announced that yet. Uh, so Britney Spears? No, Punky Brewster. Oh, wow. Oh, Slay Moo Fry. Wow, she's, she's expecting in August. Who's the daddy? Um, he's the producer of Punked. It's uh, Jason Goldberg. That's all the news you got? And then, well, yeah, and then... Punk knocked up Punky Brewster? You want me to talk about Minnesota? Oh, that's kind of worked out nicely. Well, the Minnesota story is very sad. Another school shooting. The observation Anthony and I made is that, uh, you know, when Columbine happened, it was around-the-clock coverage... And because uh, this is Minnesota and it was on it was engines. And it was engines, you're not getting as much coverage engines. about it. Because all the newscasters are drunk in that area. Bunch of <laughs> is that where Master Poe was originally from? <laughs> oh. That was just a, a bunch of Redskins uh, that uh, got That's uh, not nice. They're shot. Indians. They're American Native Indians. Well, and no, was... Indians are the ones that drive the cabs. Yeah. <laughs> Those are Indians. No, the other... Indians. These are uh, Redskins, they call them. <laughs> they go. And uh, and one of them uh, took what uh, I guess a bow and arrow, and uh, and uh, shot a bunch of people with a bow and arrow. Is that true? And then scalped them. <laughs> no, and okay, that's scalping. not nice. Like, that's not nice to make fun of them being. No, so why did you do it? And you go, they kill off buffalo. Oh God. And you had like a bit. No, we don't. We know it's not nice. We're just trying to get the details of the okay, story. The You're the news person. Are, no, okay. We're the, just the goofy the, guys that uh, are yeah. trying to get down, get the get the facts. Didn't the he shoot people are, because his father had been seen crying on the road looking at garbage? No, they're <laughs> investigating that right now. They're investigating, and they said they're puzzled yeah, over yeah, why yeah, yeah. the sixteen-year-old uh, boy uh, killed all them. They don't know. How old are they? He's 16. 16? Yeah, that's sad. We're troubled. Yeah. And you know what? I know he was teased. I do know that. So there you go. Don't tease. Really? There you go. Don't tease. Don't tease. <laughs> Don't tease Poe. You never know oh, what he might do. You're going to get shot. Yeah. He everyone, might come in there. Gonna... But no. everyone teases. This is just an isolated know, incident. There was more than teasing going on here. A lot of... I was walking around the XM compound yesterday, you know, doing lunch and stuff, and, and people were teasing others that, that work here. Yeah. Yeah, they after that they all looked This is at just me. like a, an overgrown high school here. Yeah, it is because when I all, all day somebody came up to me and said, "What's this color on the name tag?" And I said, "Green," and they're like, "Thank you," because my safe word is green. Oh, yeah. there you go. So I so got I guess it a all bunch day. of people heard you on the show yesterday. Yeah, I got a lot of looks. <laughs> was it the parents' fault? Um, because I think they his name was Dick like hummingbird. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah. No. So wasn't you the teased about that or something? Maybe oh. I don't know. Mm. The, there's not a lot. They're still puzzled and they're looking what, into. Wasn't it he into still. white supremacist literature and stuff like that? Like all that far right, like Nazi yeah, literature. Yeah, that's what I heard. He was into Nazism and. Uh, Where do you guys get your stories? He admired. Let me that look was on drugs. Website. He admired Hitler. Yeah, he definitely admired Hitler. Yeah. Which is a little strange because Hitler would have ran him What's over for a cup of coffee. About that. Hitler would have. So you look back at history and admire a man. That yeah, hard worker. <sighs> But how do you admire Hitler? Hitler wouldn't have admired this kid. He would have ran him over. No, nah, I don't know if American Indians were on Hitler's radar. He didn't care about him. They weren't uh, directed his <laughs> I think He was a little him. busy with Europe, but if he was yeah. over here, I think he'd, they'd be the ones uh, that were uh, kind of knocked off. They're not quite Aryan. I don't know. Even the Klan doesn't hate American Indians because th- I think the Klan's view is, well, they were here before anybody was, so you can't hate them. Really? That's what I've told. I don't know. I'm not a Klan. You know a lot about uh, the Klan there, Jimmy. I'm, I'm just telling you what, uh, what uh, I saw in Steve's room in one of the books. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I'm a Klan. I just like the way they dress. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's the news with Dee Dee? Yeah, I'll have more news on Michael later.
Ooh. Oh. Do you want me to do it now? Well, that would mean you're coming back in the studio. Sure. Yeah. She's feeling I'm very. Trying to, I'm le- letting Patty know I want more airtime. She's feeling very <laughs> confident. <laughs> the news. She's yeah. feeling very confident. She's not asking it's to come back. She's telling us she'll be yeah. back with Michael Jackson. She's doing my teaser. dominant side. I don't know. All right, and you'll collect some more uh, stories. Sure. We want to do our news differently on this program. Every time you do a newscast, it's got to be like different stories. Yep. All right. Okay, so I'll do Michael Jackson. Well, you didn't talk about Barry Bonds. It's not. You look at it. This is where I got it from. Our sources. What is the sources? Sources. You know what's going on with Barry Bonds? If you want to be a news girl. No. Isn't he a baseball guy? I don't know. Well, he's a baseball guy, and he's threatening uh, retirement. And right some now. people are thinking that because he's, of the steroid thing. Well, that's okay. what some people are starting to say because he he's had uh, knee surgery in the off season, and I think he's had uh, three uh, three knee surgeries at this point. And uh, he's sick of how the media is treating him and his family. And and Kevin Straley pointed out something. Like he had a press conference talking yeah. about how sick he is uh, as far as the media goes and how they're how it's affecting his family. Yeah. And then the cameras pan over to his like 13 year old, and the kid is being is pretty distraught. Yeah. But he you got to think if you're a father, why are you bringing your kid to the press conference to talk about how the media is affecting your family? To try to get some sympathy? Yeah. And a lot of people starting to think, well, maybe, he, you know, he's hinting at retirement because, you know, he could go away from baseball and, and have his reputation in, intact. Doesn't have to take those tests. Because why would you even, uh, uh, you know, uh, talk about retiring from baseball when you're only, what, 42 homers away from the record? Yeah. And this That's is one the, season. this is, uh, wait, not 42, 52. This is the record. This is the number one record in sports. Yes. You know, the you know, all-time home run leader? It doesn't yeah. get any bigger than that. And he's That's so the clo- big one. He's so close, and he's, and he's talking about retiring, so you've you got to th- wonder what's the real story here. He's just teasing. He's not going to really do it. Probably not. But now he's saying, I don't know if I'm going to play this year. We'll see. I don't yeah, know if my will. knee's going to be healthy enough. You know, I don't know if I want to deal with the media anymore. That might be two seasons for Bonds if he has a few injuries. Like, you know, a, a portion of the one full one and then a piece of the way into the next one. He might, you know, go 35, 40 home runs one year. Mm. Well, it's a no-brainer that he could, you know, break this record. So, you know, why would he talk about retirement unless there's there's uh, another story here? I think know? steroids has something to do with it. Well, look, and, uh, I mean, they show a picture of him when he signed with the Pirates way back in the day. Or in 92. So I guess he was already signed. Look at the difference in his head. Hmm. His head is twice the size as it was back in 1992. How does your skull get that much bigger in 12, 13 years? Bad ben? head. Ben. <laughs> ben, ben's ben, on the steroids. Comment. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Dee Dee. I'll well, get new stories. All right. You get new, uh, yeah, some more stories, and we'll go to you in about an hour, 45 minutes or so. Whatever you want. All right. It's Dee Dee, everyone. And, yeah. And what? Uh, and I'll read, too, out of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're picking out oh. passages from Hustler and... S- <laughs> All right. Good. Why don't we take a break? We'll regroup. We'll continue with the Open Anthony Show live from Washington, D.C. Can we get Dee Dee's uh, mom on the phone? We want to play... Yeah, yeah. We want to play the voicemail yeah. of uh, Norton's mom for Dee Dee's mom. Get your mom in here, yeah. get Dee Dee in here, get them all in here. And uh, uh, during the last break, I was running back in the studio, and Megan was saying, you've got to hear the story that Dee Dee was telling. She has some crazy... And Steve's nodding his head. It's a good one? Crazy yeah, it's insane. Pretty, it's, it's, was she with Pat O'Brien? Wild. It's a wild well, story? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, Dee Dee has a very sordid, uh, uh, substance-filled past that's led her down a very awkward path. So sweet. Who knew? Sorted, substance-filled past has yeah. led her down an awkward path? I used to read copy all the Jesus. Day. I know. this <laughs> Drugs and hookers. Yeah. And this DD gets better and better as yeah. as, uh, as the days go on. So, Steve, pay attention. Hit that button. Hit it. Right. Where's DD? Let's bring DD in for more news. Our new friend, Anthony. Yeah. Hey, we didn't hear from the Mad Mexican today, I just, uh, I just remembered. Did we insult the Mad Mexican? It almost seems like no one's working here today. Yeah, it's day off today. The Mad Mexican tried to see if his, he could bring his dog in. Yeah, That's I know. And they said no. Oh, I haven't seen them, no. though. I wanted to kick his dog. Oh, I was yeah. setting that up yesterday. Not, Is that what you were going to do? Yeah, not not bad. Just just annoyed a little bit. Like I, I wanted to do with, uh, you know, Bob Kelly's dog. Just a little, 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 little tap. Not to hurt it. Not to hurt it. Just enough to just annoy it. <laughs> and just Robert, to annoy it. Would, you, would it go like... Yeah, would it let out a little not yelp? That, no, not that bad, because that's the sound it would make if it was a little hurt. What would it do? Just, like, like, just an annoyance. Like, 
<laughs> oh, oh <laughs> <laughs> like, like angry at you. Like, ugh. like a. Would you? Would, would it be a the kick or kind of a push? The equivalent of a. Ugh. And would it be around the liver area? Oh yeah, yeah, right around the ribs. Just yeah, that's what you're. It's your special. A thing. little tap tap. That's all. And uh, Norton, I didn't think he was coming back on the show because he had to run to see if Robert Plant was definitely stopping by. Oh today. my God, Norton's freaking out today. Of course, he's got this chance, this off chance. People are being realistic with him though, not giving him these uh, high expectations that he may today get a picture with Bobby Plant. Yeah, because he's performing. Uh, Lee said it's not guaranteed. He goes, but it's probably, it's possible. You know, I mean, why not? I mean, he seems like he's all right. You're going to touch his arm and go, Bob. Bob. But, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, it is Robert Plant. I mean, this yeah. is a chance I'll probably never get again. What time is he not. performing? I hear he's doing something at 1 o'clock here. Oh, my God. I um, was thinking the other day when Ozzy was in and how you were looking at Ozzy and freaking out. I was trying to think if there's anyone out there that I'd have that same reaction. It, obviously, Robert Plant. I don't know how anyone can not want to get a picture with... It's, it's Zeppelin. Right. It's a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The guy's not exactly accessible. I mean, no. he's like royalty in music. And we're not going to get him on the show, huh? No. I, I don't think he's here yet. Stop. He won't be in until about 12. We'll probably miss him by an hour. Never. Yeah. Is right. he performing? Yes. What's he doing? Lee said he's doing some, uh, some kind of show here, which is supposed to start at 2. But Lee said as of last night, he thinks it's 1. He's not sure. The times keep changing. Whatever time he wants, right? Whenever Robert Plant wants to go oh, on, he'll but go what, on. What music is he doing? He's promoting a new album. Maybe Ben knows the name of it. Um, I don't know the name of it, but he is promoting a new album, I think. Um, That'd be cool to hear, man. Oh, of course. He's wow. doing an XM Artist Confidential special. We'll find out what he's promoting. Okay. That yeah, please do. We'll plug it for him. That's pretty cool. That's fantastic. In studio, we have Dee Dee. Hello. Hey, Dee Dee. Dee Dee's back. Now, you were telling some kind of crazy story in the other room, and everyone's like, you got to hear the story. <laughs> well, way back when, about 10, uh, no, 11 and a half years ago or so, mm -hmm. I was living in L.A. at the time, and I used to go to Vegas a lot. So I um, took a trip to Vegas one weekend, woke up one morning to find out that I was married to a British guy. It kind of came out of an alcoholic drug state of mind. Wow. <laughs> I know. I look over and he's like, so how does it feel to be married? And I guess the day before, <laughs> I was at the courthouse, ended up married, had no clue. And my fucked up mind at the time thought, well, he's cute. He has an accent. He's from England. This could work. So we went oh. back to L.A. He had a lot of money on him, cash in the house, and he was leaving for a ski trip. He told me to keep the money safe. So he left and I didn't feel safe with it in the house. So, you know, take it to the savings account, right? So I'm at the bank. The bank teller's like, wait a minute. Next thing I know, I'm dealing with the Secret Service. It was counterfeit money. <laughs> and then, um, you needless to say, he's back in England. So. Wow. And the, and the, and, but you know what? I'm thankful. You know, I'm grateful to the Secret Service, too, because he's like, you got to get your shit together or else you're going to end up dead. So I haven't had a, a mind-altering substance for 11 years. Ooh, good. Wow. All right, wait a minute. There's wow. so much to this story. Yeah, we have, yeah. I'm we glad have to go. you laid it out there, but now we got to dig in a little bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Uh, Vegas, all right. Yeah. You're, you're in Vegas for what? You're just there? Just there to hang Hanging. out. Now, you weren't fun. with this guy? No. So you, you met, met the guy in, in Vegas. Vegas. I guess so. I was in, uh, you know, you I don't, don't even remember you, meeting this guy? Have you ever been in an alcoholic blackout? Well, you don't recall anything. It's like a part of your life that never Steve, comes Steve, put your hand. hand down. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Steve's all like, yeah, <laughs> me, I have. Ben's saying nobody's in one now. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I don't recall. For eight I don't even remember being at the courthouse. Well, let me ask you, so wait, wait, I'm, I'm not to interrupt you, but you, you could have actually like said something like something, something, party rocks, and like you wouldn't even remember. <laughs> I could be having a conversation. Right now, and I would never remember. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you you were you were in Vegas. You're getting a little drunk. You went there just for the weekend things, to gamble yeah. and stuff. Among other things, what gamble, kind of drug were you, you know, your drug of choice? Coke, back crystal then? meth, meth stuff like that. Crystal meth. Yeah. You know, yeah. L.A., Coke. California. Yeah. Yeah. But Coke doesn't really get you uh, where you don't know no, what you're so doing. Like, yeah, but crystal meth was cheaper then, so. <laughs> crystal meth. <laughs> Even you know, that though, kind of kind of gets you alert. It doesn't. You, yeah, you must have been like, really drunk. The, what the were you alcohol. drinking? I when I used to drink gin and tonics. Gin and tonics. Wow. And Midori. Would, would people consider you a lightweight or a heavy drinker? Like. See, I was a functioning alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> where I could go through the week fine, but 
I black out when I drink, so I'm an alcoholic. You don't have to explain it. We know. So you didn't we know need... all about a, uh, about functioning alcoholics. So you completely <laughs> black out where you're 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 walking around, you're talking, you're doing things, I'm and then functioning. but you have no clue what you're doing. <laughs> exactly. And you wake this up the next rocks. day. I get married, and you know. So <laughs> you rocks. Pat, did did the English guy ever tell you how you met or? Yeah, at the um, roulette table at Circus Circus. <laughs> so you, yeah. you're, you're, you must have been drunk and playing roulette, and he walked over and did, it was he, did he fill you in? sometime in the afternoon, like around, I don't know, maybe one, two in the afternoon. In the afternoon, and you're smashed to the Be- point of not remembering anything. Right. <laughs> it was Las Vegas. Wow. <laughs> of course. <laughs> DD, party rock. Party rock. <laughs> wow. So so you, you apparently this guy comes over and starts talking to you, and... Uh, Wow, you 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 sound like in those states of mind, you may have been a bit promiscuous. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> he was in my bed, so and I was so, married to him. Oh so, yeah. Well, now now did you did you uh, did you do anything before you got married? Like, were you did you have sex with him uh, as far as you know, and then get married, or did you say I'm not doing this unless I'm married? I don't know. I you was just, like blessed. You still out? to this day, he never filled you in on. Well, he, um. On a timeline, didn't you say, "Hey, hubby, uh, could you tell me how this?" Well, he just said, "You know, we met and we had some fun," and I'm like, "Let's get married." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> so yeah, you met, had Pretty some much. fun. Did you got... really get married though? Yes, I'll bring in the. Ma- um, I'll make a copy of the. Obviously, marriage it's situation. been annulled. I mean. Well, obviously you can't if you did the deed. So no. <laughs> Wait, you can't annul it even if you did it in a, a passed out well, drunken stupor. Because in my fucked up mind, this was gonna work. He was oh, my so man. instead of getting it annulled, you figured let's make this work. Right, I was so fucked up on drugs. Because it was based on something so pure and honest and loving. Yeah, he's cute. He has an accent. He's from England. This could work. That's all you need, really. Yeah. Who did he look like, as far as maybe somebody that we know, celebrity-wise, anyone even close? Um. I look like know. Captain Morgan. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a pirate suit. Right? I don't know. Um, God, uh. you know, um, I'm trying to think. Who would he match up with? Uh, no, so you go, back to, you go back to L.A. Yeah. How long did you live with him? A few months. A few months? Yeah. Wow, she really So you were to... banging this guy, huh? <laughs> when you got back to LA? Hello, here's my husband. Yeah. Is he any good? Oh, in English. My husband. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Yeah. he was English though, was he any good in this act? Well yeah, see so I have yeah. a thing for accents. Oh you do? <laughs> yeah. Wow, how about that? <laughs> this chick is just amazing. You're amazing, so you really you, are. You're married and he had a house in uh, LA or I had the place. You had the place. He was from England, so he had nothing. Wait, he had nothing? He had counterfeit money. He had counterfeit American <laughs> cash. So you you take him back to England. You didn't ask him where he was staying when he was in the US or No. I How was... long was he in the US before he... when you're on drugs you don't care. <laughs> Wait, you don't even know how long your husband for a few months was in? You never sat down with him and said, hey, how long have you been in America? No, you don't understand. Where really, did you live before you married me? I don't know. I was so fucked up. I didn't care at that time. You don't understand. That was a different time wow. in my life. I was really fucked up. Amazing. I didn't care about a lot of shit. I am amazed at this. So the, he moves into your place. She's going to give Jim Norton a run for his money. <laughs> I know. The, the deeper we delve into this, Jim. You are a freak. So you you go you you he moves into your house. Yes. Were, were you? I know you were all fucked up, but you were you troubled by anything? The fact that maybe he didn't work or he had money. He well, had it was, money. I didn't know it's counterfeit, but I guess he was involved with things I didn't. How know. much money did he have? It was a lot. How, how much? How much did you take to the bank with you? Oh well, I took like ten grand in cash. Uh huh. But he had a savings account. (laughs) But he had a lot more than that. But it would be safe there in the savings account. That was my mentality back then because I was on drugs. So all of a sudden he's like, "I'm going." He should have said, "You know, I'm going on a ski trip. Keep this money safe. By the way, it's counterfeit." He left that out. So he went on a ski trip. Yes. All right, and he had a bag of dough there. Yeah. Why didn't you go with him? Because I was working. Oh. What were you doing at the time? I was working on a show called The Mo Show, Mo, Mo Gaffney. She's a comedian actress. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she had a talk show at the time. Oh, okay. All right, so... Wow. So he goes on a ski trip, and there's... How much money was in the house, you think? Uh, ten grand. Oh, it was just ten, oh, it was ten uh, grand. Uh, well, the, what I brought to the bank yeah. was about ten grand. But the, how much was... How much total counterfeit uh, money did he have? I don't know. He had a lot. Was it... There was something going on. Hundreds of thousands or million or... There was a lot. But how much? 
No, o- I'm over a hundred thousand? I don't know. There was a lot though. He was living. It's a lot. Comfortable. Was he printing it in the states or? Was I he don't know. Distributing or printing? You didn't see anything about it. Secret Service never told you how far into it this guy was? No, the Secret Service dude was like, you know, obviously had no clue that it was counterfeit because why would you bring it to the bank? It was really cool. Kind of a dopey move (laughs) for somebody that knew it was counterfeit. I'm going to get interest on this. And he's like, well, he knew I was fucked up. Yeah. He could see it. Sure. So he's like, you got to get your shit together or else you're going to end up dead. And then... I got my shit together. Right and I'm after not that? Dead. I'm here. <laughs> right after that, you got your shit together? Well, it took about a month, and then, yeah, and then I um, yeah. was at home crying one night, like, because I knew I had a problem, and I called 411 and got the um, number for a 12 step program. You did? So, yeah. And it all worked and out for you. And the female Stuart Smalley. Yeah. Wow. Is that, so, was this guy in jail overseas or anything? He had to go back, so. Deported? De- he, he, yeah. But that's all. Ha- that's all that happens to you if you call well, with counterfeit sure money. Well, I'm um, He he was in a little bit of trouble, but he just went back. He could, he couldn't oh, come back here. Jumped. Do you miss him? No. They probably won't extradite you for something like that, will they? From England? Like send you back to face trial here? No, know. they didn't do it. He he's he. I don't know who he knows, but he he all he had just to go back. Wow. You were hanging with James Bond, I think. <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Is- so he was. Yeah. That's a great story. My past. This is the night. That is your past, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. And you got pictures, a wedding picture and stuff? I'll bring in a picture. I got uh, it. Not a wedding picture, but of, of no, him. No, a picture of him? Yeah. God, your Surely story continues for the Opie and Anthony program. Next gotta time we run that. into you, we got to see the wedding photos. Got to see the picture. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, are you ready for the news? Um, sure, I don't have to do that. But <laughs> People are asking, did you ever tell these stories on XM Kids? No. When you were broadcasting. Hey, kids. No, because I was a good kid show host. I was in a drunken stupor. <laughs> Let me tell you, a pretty roulette wheel. Let me tell you the time cricket muled heroin through Columbia. <laughs> oh no! I feel better about myself because I really thought we were responsible for you losing your XM Kids gig, but now I, I see that you have such a shitty past. That wow! It's just a matter of time. <laughs> just a matter of time before they caught on. Just right. helping John Malkovich <laughs> stockpile cash so we can murder the president. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I, I thought she was sweet and innocent, and we brought her down this road. She's been on this road for years. And I tell me, about, I'll tell you about my threesome with Pat O'Brien. <laughs> oh, great. Good. Uh, her book is all. It's called Puppets, Coke, and British Cock. <laughs> British Cock. <laughs> And uh, now we know where that came from, too. <laughs> Down the mirror. What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, what so. A, what a. All right. What a yeah, story. my mom knows that I was married, so. She knows the reasons why? Because of your, your drug she, use? And yeah, stuff. she. Yeah. And then I went back home to the Joliet for help, so. Yeah, and that's where you uh, kind of dried out? <laughs> went back home? Dried out, yeah. To dry out? <laughs> Wow, so. and you haven't drank or anything? For um, celebrated March 10th was my anniversary. March All 10th, right. 1994. we got to get her drunk one day. No! <laughs> do, you, do you ever have the urge? No, in the first few years, yeah, but now First no. few years? Wow. Yeah. Uh, there's got to be other things that have happened to you during these blackouts. Where you woke up and went, oh my God, what am I, what am I doing? How about we save it for the next hour? Oh, come on, I got it. She's, the face she's making is like, uh oh, there's a basketball team involved. Did you, ever, did you ever come out of it naked and go, wait, you're, wait, you're not white? Hey, neither are you. <laughs> All right, you want to hear another one? Ed? I definitely want to hear a blackout story. Uh, yeah, give us one more blackout story. <clears throat> um, I was working in Philly. God, she goes right. Oh, out. bam, <laughs> bam. She's doing them alphabetically. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was working at Philly one time at Eagle 106 back in the day, and um, <clears throat> friends of mine were working in New Orleans, and they're like, "Oh, it'll be great to see you." I'm like, "Yeah, you too." And the next thing I know, I don't remember booking the flight, getting on the plane, but I'm in New Orleans. And the reason why I knew I was there is because all of a sudden I hear a knock on the door, and I'm like, where am I? Obviously, I had to use the bathroom. I'm in a gas station in New Orleans, and that's how I found out I was in New Orleans. I'm like, how long have I been here? So you're just in a gas station, someone knocking <laughs> on the door because they got to take a leave. the bathroom, yeah. And, and that's then, when you came out of your blackout, yeah. and you looked around and went, where am I? Yeah. And what did you walk out and go... Where am I? 
Where, pretty much to the gas station. How did you I find was, out you were actually in New Orleans? He told me, the gas station attendant. That you, you is asked? a good buzz. And then I called my friend, and, and I'm like, uh, I'm here. And she's like, yeah, I know, but we lost you on Bourbon Street or whatever. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, Holy yeah. Jesus! She's just like quantum leaping all over the yeah, country. Yeah, all of a sudden, just <laughs> wake up. That's got to be something. I've never blacked out. I've never. Well, I've, you're not I've, an alcoholic. I've, I've passed out. Um, like I've been maybe feeling sick, and you go into the bathroom after a night of all tequila or something like that, and then you wake up with the tile floor impression yeah, on yeah. your face. <laughs> you're like wow, I passed out here in the bathroom. But you know that you were in the bathroom getting sick and everything like that. But the the thought of like hours going by, plane trips, <laughs> different cities, Bourbon Street, and then you just snap out of it in a bathroom in a gas station. Wow. Yeah. You're getting your money's worth out of that booze. Well, I, I feel guess cheated. It was a hurricane. She's perfect. Oh, a hurricane. Those, yeah, are, those great. are strong, I guess. She's yeah. perfect for this radio we show. We call it the Ben's hair. We found, a, <laughs> the Ben's we found hair. another misfit. Yep. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. Be proud. I'm proud. That's great. Okay, stuff. why don't we get into the news here with uh, Gigi? Okay. Mm. All right. I know you guys talked about this, but I'm going to start the story with um, Scottsdale, Arizona, where San Francisco Giant outfielder Barry Bonds spoke to an informal gathering media um, on Tuesday after coming off knee surgery. Bonds, whose name has been smack dab in the middle of the steroid scandal. So is yours. In major league. <laughs> Wait for that one to come I up. Yeah, I was steroids. doing the roids <laughs> back in Philly. No, 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 no. And look what it did to my voice. No. <laughs> Kids don't do steroids. Maybe that's why I have this. I don't know. Uh, Not because of steroids. But I don't know. Well, anyway, um, the anguish bond said, I'm tired of my kids crying. You wanted me to jump off a bridge. I finally did. He continued, you finally brought me and my family down, so now pick a different person. Speaking hmm. of genes, plants inherit stashes of genetic information from their dead ancestors and are oh. able to use them to correct errors in their own genes. According to researchers, that is a startling capacity for DNA editing and self-repair. Unanticipated. Oh, those kind of genes. Yeah. yeah. Unanticipated oh. by modern genetics. What does this mean? A possible loophole in the MLB steroids policy. I thought you meant the kind of genes that were probably ripped off of her body numerous times <laughs> after a drink. Oh, my God. Or if there's problems in the genes that can be fixed, I wonder if the Sparks family has that. <laughs> okay. Okay, from plants to vegetables. Oh, yeah. From oh, that's funny, vegetable. That's yeah, the Vatican celebrates for oh, Easter week. I thought it was a Terry Shivo story. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what I thought. Damn. I thought you were going to be clever. No, the Vatican celebrates. Uh, Maybe Shivo's just uh, had a hurricane or two. She's just been blacked out for <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I can't believe it. I woke up. They're pulling a tube out of me. Everyone's staring at me. I'm going, what? <laughs> Oh, man. What? What, what happened? <laughs> what happened? I'm trying to do the news. Yeah, we okay. <laughs> I'm married. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've been smiling for how long? <laughs> should get a Colgate endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should keep Terry Shimo alive yeah. after all. Absolutely. Just... Even when you have bed sores. Oh, that's just wrong. Okay. Um, the Vatican celebrations for Easter week are going to proceed with uncertainty because uh, reports that po Pope John Paul II is recovering from surgery more slowly than doctors expected. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking if God wants to make a statement, he should take John, uh, you know, the Pope on uh, Easter Sunday. That would make that it, would really uh, kind of drive the point home. That would make everyone, yeah, stand up and take notice. Like, whoa, who, oh, hey, what's this all about? Um, Especially if it was in an unconventional way, like he was killed drunk driving, or just or doing something really weird. Are you trying to say that he's a passenger in Master Poe's car? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, it's the Pope. You're gonna go to hell right. for that, probably. Poe and the Pope. Oh, yeah. you know what? Don't Master it. Master Pope. You know uh, what, sweetie? I hate when the obvious is out there and we all miss it. Uh, Joey's on the line. He goes, "D's like the Memento guy." Oh, yeah. From the movie Memento. Memento. I what didn't see that. What? Kind of, you forget everything right when you wake yeah. up. You forget. You should start, like, that was, That's what it was like. I'm like, what no happened? You should memory. start tattooing stuff to your body to remember oh. things. 
<laughs> I actually well, do yep. have a tattoo from when Joey I was Joey Bravo on the phone lines, by the way. Good job. She wakes up, there's a note written in her hand, fine British guy with big hog. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. And some news from the executive branch. Vice President Cheney said yesterday that the elevation of White House loyalists and supporters of the war in Iraq to key diplomatic posts puts the United States in a stronger position to force changes at the U.N., and improves the U.S. Uh, image abroad. International news. Yeah. yeah. See, you told me to do stuff different, right? Uh, uh, so I'm trying. Uh, mm-hmm. To an interview, uh, in an interview aboard Air Force Deuce, the, the vice president said the nomination of John R. Bolton to serve as ambassador to the U.N. in particular shows that President Bush is committed to ending corruption and changing the culture of the world. Never body. been on that Air Force Deuce, have you? No. You never woke up in a drunken stupor <laughs> on that Cheney on top of you? <laughs> no. Mm-mm. That's why they call me Dick. <laughs> oh, my God. Forgot where I was. No? John, John from Jersey also saying that uh, she's like Tyler Durden in Fight Club. Ah. He uh, kind of lost his, uh, his uh, memory there for a while. Mm. And then someone is saying that you're full of contradictions. Really? And another guy, hold on, let's uh, take a couple phone calls really oh fast. Oh, God. Let's say hi to Eric in South Jersey. Eric, what's up? Hey, guys, how you doing? I, just, I thought it was kind of funny that, you know, she's got an English guy who's uh, handcuffed down to the bed with nipple clamps on and counterfeit money all over the place, and yet yesterday she was horrified and disgusted that little Jimmy's got a hooker here and there. Just, uh, yeah. Well, because I, I'm, I've been good for, like, 11 years. All right. Yeah. yeah. Bit of a contradiction, I guess. I'll her, say. It's her pass. Well, she's not into the hooker thing. Matt from Buffalo, go ahead. Uh, hi, guys. What's up, little Jimmy? Hi, Matt from Buffalo. Uh, uh, yeah, guys. I just, want to, I just want to ask Didi. Would you like to go to Vegas and get a golden drunken stupor, getting married, and then do a kid show? Just say yes. He's <laughs> <laughs> doing the Pat O'Brien gag. Pat O'Brien. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think she would do that again in a second. Pat would have had you with no yeah. problem, right? A couple of drinks. Back then, probably. Back then, yeah. right? <laughs> wow. I wouldn't remember it, but sure. All right. You ever, how, how many? I, I got to ask you. How many times, estimate, did you wake up in a strange bed after a blackout? That was pretty good because um, my, I had friends that babysat me. So oh, they kind of watched four. to make sure. Four times, though? You woke up and were like, wow, where am I? Yeah, and then one time I woke up in a detox center, and that was pretty scary. Seeing I other gather. people sleeping around you, and you're like, where the fuck am you I? You woke up like, whoa. what? Yeah. You ever get a, did you drive during these times? No, I always, I was good about that. You never drove, <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> that I know of, exactly. Probably left a trail of disaster <laughs> behind you. Yeah. Could you just yeah. say this? Oh, 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 Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't do that noise, but Betsy. Is Betsy. that it for the news today? Um, I have a, well, Michael Jackson's lawyer. You want to put it in? Michael okay. Jackson. Michael G. X. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson's lawyers uh, objected, objected to prosecutors showing the kinky magazines and the barely legal DVD found in his bedroom, Ooh. as if that was all he had. And uh, they kept asking detectives if they also noticed perfectly normal things in his bedroom, like letters from U.S. presidents, Steven Spielberg, a card from Liza Minnelli, and uh, also a mannequin duplicate of Jackson's young female cousin captured at her most beautiful point when she still had a figure of a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> and that's it. You think he's uh, guilty? Well, he's definitely guilty of being a freak for sure. Um, mm. If he did it one time a long time ago, he should have learned his lesson then. And why do right. it again? Why do you know, it again? It's not why, even, why even put yourself in the position where you, p- people can think that you're doing it? Yeah, it's just yeah. not normal for little boys and big men to be playing together in a bed. Oh, well, according to your rules, <laughs> you're surprised. They're so smooth, they slip right out of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> they drink a little and black out yeah. to say where they wake up. <laughs> so, yeah, I I don't know. That's, uh, you know. Where's the most bizarre learned. place you snapped out of a uh, <laughs> blackout? Was it the bathroom? Uh, the bathroom, yeah, because you're like, okay, obviously I had to use the bathroom. I was in there about a half hour, he said. So wow. He's like, ma'am, are you okay? You've been in there over a half hour. Yeah. That's kind of strange. What, what, what any other place that was like really weird where you woke up and went, wow? Yeah, the detox center detox because I woke be. up and there are other cots or beds or whatever and all these bodies. I'm like, where am I? And then they find the uh, director of the center and she's like, well, 
the police saw you sitting outside the nightclub and they asked, you know, would you like us to take you somewhere so you can get help? And I said yes. Yeah. I don't remember saying yes. And were I'm you like, a real belligerent drunk Were you uh, during these times? Were you nasty or were you... You mean nasty like... Um, no, like she was she was fun. Were you fun or just like like during the time... Obviously, you... I got married, so that's fun. Yeah, right? she's, so, she was go. all about the fun. Just wondering. I just... Just wondering. You know? Any other place that you snapped out of it that was kind of like, oof? Um, that's not good. Um, on South Street in Philly one time. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. That was a little weird. Uh... I, don't know. I like how she just snaps out of it, like all of a sudden. It's very, it's like so weird. It's just like you just come to, you're like, whoa. Whew. Yeah, it's scary. I, and before yeah. that, you're walking around, you're <laughs> talking, you're doing yeah. things. But I mean, you would think I was just you're not okay, there. but you just And then all of a sudden, whoosh, you just come out of it. Yeah. That is so That's a odd. great way to live your life. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Every day's an adventure. Where am I going to wake up today? No, and, no. and how much alcohol would it take before you got into this? That's the thing. You just never know. It could, who knows? And well, you know what? One is enough. A thousand's too many. Yeah. So. Whew. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she gets wow. better and better. That is wild. It's Dee Dee with the news. Thank you, Dee Dee. You're welcome. I think okay, why don't we take a break? We're going to have Dee Dee come in one more time to do the news. Maybe talk to her mom one last time, right? Mm -hmm. Before we say goodbye to Dee Dee for a while. Yeah, because she's down here. She's down here. And we're up in New York. And yeah. She's here. We're there. Yes, Ben. Dee Dee has a major announcement as well. <laughs> <laughs> a major announcement? Yes. What, she just realized she she woke up and she has a job with XM? <laughs> hey. She came out of a blackout in a bathroom stall with Jose Canseco putting a needle in his ass? <laughs> TD has a major announcement. It's actually a company announcement. So. Ooh, an XM announcement. Ooh. XM announcement. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, let's get cricket back in here. Only a half hour left, and then we leave D.C. Until next time, we'll be back in New York City tomorrow for the rest of the week. And I then we be. go on a little vacation. You're not on the show tomorrow? Um, tomorrow I am. And I, then Friday you're going, oh, that's right, we didn't get your plug. I, I have to, because last week was a disaster, because I switched the date. Fort Lauderdale Improv this Thursday, tomorrow through Saturday. 954-981. Tomorrow through Saturday? Yeah, oh, tomorrow's nine. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I fly tomorrow, do the show tomorrow. Oh, I got you. Okay. I got uh, all confused. What happened, Dee Dee? What's the matter? The uh, I'm tingled. Hold on. Uh -oh. You're tingled? <laughs> she just came out of a blackout. Oh, Ooh, nice. I don't know how it got on the chair like that. Now it's all, her headphone cord is twisted around the chair. Jesus. <laughs> Ben's flipped it over. He's beating it with his hog. <laughs> hog. I like that word, hog. Hog. <laughs> ben was in the corner wrestling his own hog. There he is. There he's it is. He had to have Steve Irwin come in and hold it down. <laughs> oh, my God. You highlighted it. Ben did. Highlighted it. Yeah, we're going to have yeah. you read some stuff uh, as the grand finale of your appearance on our program today there, Dee Dee. <gasps> dirty, dirty good. Do we have time to get Dee Dee's mom on the phone, or are we running out of time? We got the... Um, the Norton message, Norton's mom's uh, message there that we want to play for Dee Dee's mom, maybe? What's wrong, Dee Dee? I'm just looking at the picture. Hot, right? <laughs> yeah, that's like hardcore pornography. Yeah. She's yeah. big areolas. What Isn't a lovely nice? girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said you might go, uh, you know, you might go lesbo just to I'm, try it. I'm not going to go lesbo, but I'm just saying you should never say never. If, you know... Hey, who knows? You're good friends. Just one night, want to check it out, right? <laughs> yeah. You could be a lesbian and not even know it with all the blacking yeah. out you've been doing. You, no, Betsy. I would know. I would know. Really? Sure. You, <laughs> Betsy. Yeah. Betsy. Yeah, How about if she's like, come on, help me out. It's just dry, licking a little. Just be oh, a fan. Be a... What, uh, what, what, what do we got, Ben? Oh, uh, Dee Dee's mom's on the phone? Yeah, Dee Dee's mom. Oh, boy, you sure didn't. Uh... <laughs> wow, we didn't waste any time. Yeah. Dee Dee's mom. Dee Dee's mom? Hi, Dee Dee's mom. It's Opie and Anthony again. Your, Hi. Your daughter's doing a, a great morning. job once again on our radio program. She brought in the picture of her uh, looking like Amy Carter from the, from, uh, from the old days there. And look what happened exactly. So she really looked like Amy Carter growing up? Did you notice that right away uh, when, when the Carters took the White House? Uh, did you say, wow, my daughter kind of looks like her? Yeah? You didn't see it, or? No. Hmm. Yeah. Um, we, we, boy, 
boy, have we been learning a lot today about Dee Dee. We have... I don't know. It seems like you know a lot of this stuff. Is she... We didn't know she really did have this wild side years ago. You didn't. Well, well, yeah, she did. Kept it hidden from herself. <laughs> Seems like uh, she uh, she she would wake up and then realize, oh my goodness, I seem to have uh, forgotten the past few hours or days. Yeah, yeah. You know she she was married in the past, huh? Yeah, there's that English guy that she met in Vegas. Uh, he was, oh yeah, his, he was a Sir, Sir Joel. <laughs> yeah, that was counterfeit too, I'm sure. Sir counterfeit. Sir counterfeit. Sir fake. Mm. Sir fake a lot. It was Sir Osis of the liver. <laughs> <laughs> that old Bugs Bunny gag. <laughs> yeah, so uh, she she met him at the roulette table, got all drunk. Uh, next thing she knows, she she woke up and she was married to the guy. And it, that's what I'm hearing. Why, you heard a different story? Oh, no, no. Wow, you never told your mom the details about the English guy? No. Yeah, she she was uh, obviously drinking. She had a problem with drinking. Uh, you know that, right? right. Yeah, I, but thank, thank God. But not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, absolutely. It's been 11 years. We were very proud of very uh, proud. Dee Dee. And uh, she woke up and, and was married to this guy and then decided... Uh, he was English. He had an right, accent. Hold on, hold on. We can't hear Dee Dee's mom. Oh, the Stop the bit. Can't hear mom. The audience can't? Oh, they can't hear you, mom. Hold on. Let me see. A little uh, technical difficulty. Come on, difficulty guys. On Come on. Try that. Oh, they Try that. Try That's great. Together. Can yeah, they hear mom? Yeah. Well, hopefully they can. Uh, <laughs> we, we will soon see. Keep refreshing the instant feedback and see if they can hear. Um... Yeah, so so she uh, woke up next to this guy and then decided she was going to try to make it work. Right. Now, that seems a little odd. It seems like you would right away go, oh, my God, if I'm waking up and I don't even know who this guy is, I better get an annulment uh, lickety split. Well, no, but see, she was always brought up to keep striving, keep striving. <laughs> Look at the mom putting, trying to put a positive spin on this thing. I love trying you, Trying to po put a positive spin, like, look at my little girl. She was determined to make it work. <laughs> Great. Never give up, unless you really have to after trying. Steve. You as a mom, though, didn't you realize something might be a tad bit wrong that she's a? Uh... Well, yeah, but it was already a fact after we found out. See. What about the? Uh, no, I mean, I mean, as far as her drinking goes, because some people can drink and they're fine. Did she ever drink at like family holidays uh, or something? No, and... no, no. She and and then she was gone after high school, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she, we missed all that part. Mm -hmm. That's when she went wild after high school, wasn't? Yep. It? Yep. Mm. Wow. Uh huh. Well, um, we know how moms can be. I know uh, my own mom uh, has to deal with me doing this program, and then I go over there like her cute little boy that she remembers from years ago. And meanwhile, you know, on the it, air, it, it's got to be heartbreaking for her. Uh, sometimes it is. She's got to turn this program off. She cannot even listen to her own son's uh, <laughs> show. Uh, and then oh, he's got the same issues. There are times where his mom's yeah. got to just turn the the radio off. Yeah. Um, that's bad enough. But our own little Jimmy Norton. Who uh, is on this program? Also, he really has some problems. Like what kind? Well, not only because with he's... who his mother. Yeah, well, well, he likes uh, prostitutes to come oh. over and take leaks on his chest, and oh. every once in a while, oh every, no, 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 every no, once no. in a while, every once in a while, a log will fall out as he well. He was brought up different, right? No, my well, my mom. Yeah, they did a nice job raising me. They were very lovely. Uh, uh -huh. Dee Dee's mom. I've met Norton's uh, parents. They're absolutely lovely people. The nicest people you'd ever want to meet. You, you know what? You know what happened? What? He lived on a hill. I know he lived on a hill because the fruit always falls near the tree, and he must have done a lot of rolling. Oh, is that it? He rolled away from. Look at you. You got a sense of humor too, don't you? Well, kind of. Yeah. I have to have. Apparently, I was a piece of tapered fruit that came out in <laughs> a banana shape. So, um, Norton likes to because it was brown. Norton likes to talk openly about his personal life on the program, which is uh, quite different than most people. Is, is that his self therapy there? Yeah, I kind of in a way it helps. Yeah, not and much. But I still act out on it. So. Makes for embarrassing situations, though. And just like all our moms, uh, Norton's mom was listening one day and heard some real crazy stuff and decided to to reach out to. Her son, and uh, leave a little voicemail on his uh, machine there. <laughs> and we want you to we want you to listen to this voicemail now. And this is Norton's mom. This is no radio bit. 
All right. So listen in, and um, I don't know. I'd like to get another mother's opinion on this advice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is We're what, listening. This is Norton's mom, everyone. Oh, Norton's mom. Hi, sweetheart. It's mom. How are you? Jimmy, I know this is a little awkward, but everyone's fine here. But I, we heard the radio show. We love it, by the way. And you were talking about giving up, you know, the ladies of the evening, um, which is a wonderful thing. But you know what? Dr. Phil always says replace something with something. So I was thinking, you know, you have that nice gym downstairs. And, you know, just for like 20 minutes to half an hour and you would feel better, use that. And also there's gyms in New York you could go, you could exercise, and uh, you would feel a whole lot better. You'd lose a little weight, you'd tone up, and you relieve, you know, tension and stuff, and you'd be meeting other people. I don't know, honey. I just thought it might be a good thing. I'm sorry. I'm interfering. I know. I just i am thinking of you. Nobody knows I'm calling. So uh, don't get offended or think I'm strange, but I am a mother, and I worry about you. You're doing so well. Everything's falling into place. This might be just one of the, you know, the health thing. It would help It would help you, sweetheart. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to go on and on. I know it's not my business. But anyway, I love you, and I feel I can interfere because I'm your mother. I'm taking special license. But anyway, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at Christmas. I really hope you can make it. And uh, anyway, don't be mad at me, okay, sweetie? I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. So if, if Jimmy, oh, she's if trying gonna, so hard. If you're going to give up hookers and go to the gym, Jimmy, just wear an Aussie shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to be a good replacement. <laughs> no, no. no, no. Yeah, see, you got to take up knitting. Knitting? <laughs> she wanted so. him to you know, go to the gym, maybe work out. That was the gym and not a guy named Jim. Yeah, downstairs. no, the gym. Okay, uh, so go to the gym Tone downstairs, up a little. Tone up and uh, give up the, uh, the hookers. Uh, but that was pretty good advice, right? She used a little Dr. I, Phil. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. Well, you think no, knitting it, might help? It will. It'll keep the hands busy. Any, any oh, advice no. uh, for little Jimmy Norton? Take up knitting. No, like some like, real advice. Could You're knit myself a rope and stool? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no real advice for Jimmy Norton? Uh, nothing I can think of right offhand. It's not a situation she's probably used to dealing with. No, she's <laughs> hookers. <laughs> He's got to get another hobby. That's not really a hobby. Yeah, it's an addiction. Yes, it's a hobby. It's a hobby. It's not an addiction. It's a hobby. You don't. Think, I like uh, the way uh, her mom thinks. That's helpful. Yeah, it's a That's hobby. A, just it's a little thing I do. It's kind of like putting model planes together, I'm except I'm right. dehumanizing someone. I was going to say. Right, right. I was going to say <laughs> it's just like yeah, model the uh, model airplanes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wait, Joe. Why don't you have um, your mature listeners? send you in one-liner advice and then put them in a hat or a shoe and pick oh. one out a day. And take that advice. Sam, you want to produce this radio show? That's, that's a good one. So that's much better than the advice we get from our own producers. Oh, well, see. Oof. I see you. Uh, I see. No, Karen. Why? No pictures today. Dude, no. What's that for? <laughs> what? I'm happy to leave. Thank why are we know. taking pictures today? I don't know. They said they wanted you to come and take pictures. No, no oh, pictures today. Oh, God. No, I'm exhausted. I am so sick of pictures. I'm really sick of pictures. Well, you could autograph Thank them and you. sell what? them. No, I just got to take them. No. Take for what? Yes. For what? Yes. For what? For what? For the boss. Boss wants pictures taken. Boss wants pictures. Which yes. boss? For what? All the bosses. Pictures. Especially for what? They, I'm not even kidding they today. They need new photos. Well, someone's going to tell us before they take the picture, so, you know. So you can comb your So hair. we can shower right. and not be hung over and tied. No, fine. I'm not taking any more pictures. You look very spelt in that shirt, actually. It's for promo materials, guys. That's what Well, yeah, someone's right. got to tell us ahead picture of time. I'm not even kidding anymore. You're photo are you, are you Every time they take photos, yeah. we look like, we look awful. Are you on the Because air no one tells us ahead of time. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. No. We're live on the air arguing. Yeah, we're arguing on the air live. <laughs> this is our stupid radio show. <laughs> You're <laughs> asked, can you believe it? I know that we actually do this on the air. What's Opie getting? We all have to take up knitting. Knitting? That, that, wow, she's really into the knitting. Has that ever worked for Didi or anything? Didi, no. did you knit? No. You never knitted? She doesn't, she doesn't cook either. <laughs> you don't cook, huh? Well, I go. cook, but I'm not a cook like her. Okay. Yeah. You she's just, what, cook. order a lot of takeout or something? No, really. Have, oh, have, have your listeners send in advice and yeah. just pick it out of the all shoe right. and, oh you my know. God. They could take pictures next time we're down here and warn us. I'll pitch yeah. No, I'm not. No. 
I'm, I, you know, and why and, can't he take the picture like that? And the listeners could abuse us all all they want. I'm I'm so sick of the pictures of us just looking tired and 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 non showered Nothing and worse hung than over. The after the show picture. You want a new a new image? No. If they want yeah. pictures next time, they can I'm warn us ahead of time, and 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 we'll shave and do all that stuff. Right. I'm so sick of bad publicity photos. But see, I understand that would shatter your image. You know, here I see the promo now. You know, photo diva, have fun with it. I don't care. But I'm dead serious. I'm so sick and tired. And then the pictures look bad. So then they Photoshop my eyes wide open with a smile. I look like a fucking retard. Oh, watch your language. <laughs> I, I, I look worse than I, I look worse than Terry Schiavo in half these pictures. My, my mouth is open. I'm smiling, and my eyes are as wide as they possibly could be. Oh. My neck is twice as long because they decide my neck needs to be longer. I'm so done with photographs. No pictures today. No Anthony, photographers. Anthony, help me out with this. Seriously. No pictures today. When did you... Dee Dee, are you there? Ben, when did you find out they wanted photographs? Dee Dee, are you there? Yes, I'm here, but they're talking. This isn't a show. This is what we do. They need to go out and have a drink, I guess. Oh, that's good advice. Maybe your, <laughs> maybe your daughter can join us and no, pass no, no, out no, somewhere. No, 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 no. I need to knit, and they need to get drunk. <laughs> what are these photographs going to be used for? <laughs> what are they used for? I'm serious. Look at Ben. You're don't the producer. Take him, what, what, you know ahead of time. I'm doing shit. Wow, Ben is really belligerent. Uh oh. Ben, what? Seriously, you didn't tell us ahead of time, and you're getting all pissed. But you know what? Someone has to tell us when this shit's going on. You're the producer. I if you go ahead of time, I might have forgot to tell you about it. But stop bitching. The listeners get annoyed. I get, it's just getting annoying. A tough shit. Bitch. I might have. I probably forgot to tell you about the photos. About a million. Well, what are they? What are they for? They just have, need more photos for if they need photos. It, like well, the photos that's that's out there. Yeah. Well, that's another. The photo that's in the in the in the the stand up. That's that's a horrible photograph. But you know why? Because we were tired and they came in after us doing a morning You're show. We know we're never happy. No, they have to they have to meditate. They Dude, have to go and meditate. I can oh, show you. Meditation. I can prove my point. You can say I'm tired all the time, whatever. But <laughs> the last time they didn't like the photographs because we were happy. tired, so they photoshopped our faces you to look like freaking happy. freaking Frankenstein. Don't do them. I don't care. Good. We're not doing them. I'd like to do a picture. Photo <laughs> diva on the way. <laughs> Photo D. Hey, will that guy stick around if Robert plants in the area? We can do me and Robert. Hey, hey, I'm not phone. Robert Plant, but will I do? Uh, hey, Mad Mexican, what's up? It's not even hey, Robert hey, Kelly. Hey, tell you what, I got something for Jim, and then uh -oh. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I, I'm doing a show. All right. Okay? Jim, I didn't see you on Valentine's Day, so I got you. Okay, Jim, I didn't see you on Valentine's Day, so I got you this for Valentine's Day. It's all yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What is it there, man? I don't know. It looks like a genetic thing gone wild or something. No, you got to explain it. We're on the radio. Oh, okay, that's what it is. It's a genetic doll that uh, they call kids something or the sugar loaf costume kids, <laughs> and it has a, it's got like a you hear that the uh, sounds weird. Everybody it's, thinks that's kind of creepy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's got like my face. It looks like me with a black fur around it and two red ears, <laughs> and it says in a red heart on the stomach, "Love you." Oh. So wow. uh, yes. I didn't see you on Valentine's Day. Jim, good to uh, see you again. Good Gentlemen, to see you. Thank you. I'm going to go back to offend the masses. Thank Thanks you, Mad you. Mexican. Aloha. Okay. Aloha. Wow. All right. Is that the weirdest thing anyone's ever go. given you? It looks like Chaka from Land of the Lost. It does. It's like a kid, a baby <laughs> face in a bear suit. It, it kind of looks like you, though. A, really a younger does. version of you. If, if, some, if, if, someone, if, if me and Steve had a baby, this is what it would look like. It would be all cozy <laughs> with your face. My face and a bearish body. Anyway, so uh, where were we? Um, you need to meditate. Saying no pictures, but uh, I, because uh, you know what I don't want. I just don't want just taken explain after the show. Yeah, explain it in a way where people will understand. Because I know I sound like a, an idiot, but we are exhausted after the show. Anytime pictures are taken after the show, they come out awful because we are exhausted. So yes, there will be no pictures today. You guys are vain. No, yeah. it's not even. It's not even that. It's 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 so much more involved than that. The guy that took the that came in with the camera, first of all. The first uh, publicity photo we ever took, he liked um, Anthony in the in the photo because Anthony raised his eyebrow, which is fine. But I looked all, just stupid in the picture, so instead of taking another one and maybe having Anthony do the same pose, he decided to Photoshop my face. And and we looked at the pictures. Uh, to this day, it pisses me off. And we looked at the pictures on online. Yeah. And I go, don't do that. It looks ridiculous. And he and he insisted on doing it anyway. 
Well, you ought to have your mothers take your pictures. And myself. Oh. What? Have your mothers take your pictures. I'm not going to take any pictures today. That's not a problem. No, but because I, right. I remember you showing me, well, no, we could open up your eyes and make you smile more. And I go, dude, don't do that. It looks awful. Next thing you know, uh, fast forward two or three weeks, we're at our first, uh, you know, promotion for XM, and we're handing out these, uh, these, uh, these photos, and they look just absolutely stupid. And then my neck was too long. Because well, what happened, they took a, uh, uh, my head from another picture and threw it on my body. It actually didn't happen. I know, I know you think that after I showed you how he did that, but it actually didn't happen. I know that, that, I know that that's the But you perception. did Photoshop the eyes wide open and all that. Not, on that. not on the picture that ended up getting published. It was an unretouched picture. No way. I know it looks that way. No I way. can show you the original. No way. No I way. I can show you the original. It's impossible. It's longer or something. <laughs> Remember the eyes were wide I open and the smile? I, it's impossible you to smile. You had two and have Adam's your, apples. Yeah, and it's impossible to have your eyes <laughs> wide open <laughs> and smiling at the same time. It's impossible. Yeah. And there were leaves behind him where apparently he was eating something out of a tree. <laughs> Old brontosaurus neck. I do, I do my best for you guys, and if you guys want to do a picture when you're not on air, happy to do it for you. Right. Anytime. What are these photos for? No one has. No They're one. No, we're not anything. doing it anymore. But yeah, I, you know. What I were they for, though? Uh, someone asked. Look, I'm here for Robert Plant, and I'm here for the for for a bunch cool. of the other on-air folks. Right. And so they said, while you're here, we need to get some more pictures because we're short on them, and we need to get some more pictures right. so, to have in the hopper. So uh, uh, that's the only reason I came in here. All right, all right. All well, right. I'm not blaming. Uh, no one told us, and you know. And there's no, no huge. There's no huge yeah. T-shirt. For us to get uh, in. Right, right. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah. This is uh, ending right in a cluster F. Yeah. All right, thank you. I don't, right, man. I don't mean to attack you. I'm sorry. I don't take it personally. I just don't, you know, just want you guys to know I'm on your side. That's all. But you did Photoshop that shot. I'll You're prove you. I'll prove it, it to you that it's not true. It's denying it. I'll show you the original unretouched file. Because I know what you're talking about. Because after we did that and I, they said you didn't like it, you right. didn't do it. Promise, swear to God. Someone throw that uh, photograph up on on the website. I, uh, it proves I'm not vain, it, but it just looks completely ridiculous. And then have fun with it. I don't care. Which is why we went back up to New York and did it again. Right. I, what time? You uh, take some pictures with Robert Plant. That's cool. Yeah. He he needs a picture with Robert Plant. I'll just make come that up, happen. Not a problem. All right. I'll make it happen. They're doing a meet and greet afterwards. Dee Dee's mom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. You, you guys need to go yeah. to therapy somewhere. I know. Yeah, we, know. we admitted we know. Uh, when the show what, started. Why don't you use your baby pictures? Uh, yeah, we've done we've, done we've done that in the past. We've done too. that. Yeah. Ridiculous. Well, then have have Dee uh, Dee uh, take some pictures. <clears throat> He's real good with a camera. Yeah. All right, Dee Dee. Okay. This is it for the news for the for, <clears throat> for the day. Uh, Finally, yeah, should we yeah. let your mom go, or or she hey. could be she could listen in and and and, no, and be okay. all proud. No, 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 no. We got to do Meals on Wheels. We have to leave. Oh, okay. oh Meals on Wheels. Very nice. We're yes. hungry. All right. Well, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. There she goes, Dee Dee's mom. Bye, mom. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh, I was waiting for the ticker ticker noise. Okay. Um, here's some big news. Hyundai Motor America is the first automaker to add standard XM satellite radio to its full vehicle lineup. All How right. about that? Isn't that kick-ass? Yes. Hyundai. Another huge announcement for XM satellite radio. Yes. yes. Starting in 2006, XM radios will be factory installed in all Hyundai models, beginning with the all-new Sonata, Santa Fe, Elantra, I have one of those, and the upcoming replacement for the XG350 Premium Sedan. How, How great that? is that? That and, is great. Right? And that's the key to this whole thing. Factory installed. Yes. Yep. But I understand, though, not to downplay XM's announcement, but Sirius has announced the Tony Hawk show has turned into the Tony Hawk channel. So it's going to be 24 hours of skateboarding sounds and tubular noises. <laughs> uh. Okay, speaking of cars, vehicles... I think actually Sirius did announce that their uh, newest unit is coming out, and it is the size of a Hyundai. So, <laughs> well, similar thing. Well, they, I, this is not even to make fun of Sirius, but they did announce a factory install for all 1971 Pintos. <laughs> <laughs> Those idiots. Uh, all kidding aside, Howard has no idea what he got himself into. Have fun over there. Good luck to you. I know, that's pretty it, kicking. Enjoy the money. Which is which is a great thing, obviously, but as far as getting an audience, good effing luck. Sirius is good, though, man, because if you just like, you put it in the kitchen, like if you take out the microwave, it fits perfectly where that used to hang. <laughs> Instead of eating omelets, you can just uh, listen to your favorite radio programming with commercials. The stuff Elo was telling us after the show yesterday, oh, my God. Oh, nice. Good nice. luck. Oh. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Some sad news here. Somebody passed away. Steelers. 
football star um, David Little. He died while weightlifting at home in Miami. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Okay. He was only 46. <laughs> That's terrific. Oh. No, no. That's it's... terrific. Oh. Yeah. His... Steroids? No. Weightlifting. Not steroids. But Nothing okay. about steroids. Did his heart stop? How did he die weightlifting? I don't know. I guess it maybe fell on it. He was suffocated by the barbell. Oh, man. <laughs> what a, yeah. His, his children, uh, David Jr. and Darian, found him. Oh. Yeah. It, that's sad. He can't, hey, take that with you for the rest of your life, kids. Yeah. Couldn't get it off his chest. Couldn't get it off of there. Rolled onto his neck. Yeah. Suffocated. Couldn't him. he turn to the left? You can't turn? I think there's a way to get those goddamn weights off you. Unless it just crashed down and crushed his windpipe. Oh, maybe it slipped out of his hand or something when he was yeah, trying to push it up? maybe. Oh. That's oh. sad. <laughs> but I have some good news for your female listeners. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Ooh. Um... Well, it shows, studies are showing that your monthly visit from Aunt Flo helps you live longer. Yeah. Really? Bloody ridiculous, but it's true. Dr. Thomas Pearl, he's a New England doctor, says that women are almost six times as likely to live to 100 as men. And he thinks it's because of your monthly visit from Aunt Flo, because iron helps produce free radicals. That's not what it is. It's yes, just women it is. don't have them nagging them. <laughs> <laughs> So um, the blood loss makes most women iron deficient. So to test his theory, he's avoiding red meat and donating a pint of blood bi-monthly to make himself iron deficient to see if he lives to 100. He said that I menstruate, but only eight, every eight weeks. So the rest of the time, he's like skiing. And so he's stuff. simulating giving himself a period. Yeah. What an ass. What a, he should just dump oh. it into his underwear and walk around. Oh. <laughs> you and to be realistic. I mean... Not much. <laughs> Smell up the room and not fuck his spouse. <laughs> Be cranky and annoy everyone. Is he also a melodramatic asshole? <laughs> Eight days a month he gives blowjobs. <laughs> and he cries three days before he gives blood. Ew. Nobody loves me. I'm fat. <laughs> Yuck. Well, uh, old pulp boxers. <laughs> you should try it, Jimmy. <laughs> Oh. Try not eating red meat and do that. Um, so, oh, how awful. Uh, horrible. That's pretty much the news. I mean, the big deal is the nonsense. What about Oprah? Yeah. Oh, I, see, I don't have that on my phone. All right, read the Oprah story. Oh, that's a good one. Cold read. Oprah to taste the poor life. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey is giving her fancy surroundings to live in a public housing project in Chicago. The talk show hostess who's been known to give away cars to her entire studio audience, who all she had pays for that, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, will spend a month in the downscale digs as part of a TV series she's producing about the housing crisis in the country's yeah. inner cities. I'm no, sure I don't it'll see be her just that. like her, it's just like anyone else living in the projects. There won't be security around her. She won't have to worry about her life being taken as she walks up the stair or into an elevator in one of these buildings. Yeah. She's going to have a uh, team of security guards of, there. Of course, course she is. is. Why? But because you know, like everybody in that building could have a team of security guards. But speak, oh, what a phony. But speaking of periods, I understand that Oprah's going to donate hers to have the project's <laughs> building painted. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> That's just gross. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's gross. Sucks. So that's do you want me to read about the anal cherry in New York oh, yeah. City? Well, how much time we got left in the show? <laughs> or should I save that? A couple minutes? Three minutes or so? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, a lot of people want to hear you read uh, read some dirty stuff. So. A little smut. Oh, so Ben got some God, stuff together I'm glad for my mom's off the line. All right. Yeah. Well, she's not. So. Here I go. Marilyn leaves her anal cherry in New York City. Hmm. Have you ever been fucked up the ass? Hold on, hold on, Steve. This isn't a news story. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in your world this is news. All right. All right. What kind of an awful dark place does he live in that this is yeah. considered headline news? Oh my God. She lost her yeah. anal cherry. This is the lighter side of the news, you know? The All wacky right. story that, that yeah. ends the newscast. That's the human interest. <laughs> human part. interest, right. Uh, and, she, and he pulled it out, and there was a lima bean, bean skin on his cock head. I'm John Montone. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got a llama bean skin. Oh. Fool. Do you want me to continue? Sure. Okay, ahead. have you ever been fucked up the ass? Oh, one oh. time at uh, Bourbon Street, I woke up in the garage of a <laughs> gas station. A bathroom of a gas station. Oh, um, do you want to fuck me up the ass? Most of the time, I'm so fucking horny, I don't know what to do with myself. The first time I had anal sex, I was in New York City. 
Just only read the highlighted ones. Right? You ever, you ever, uh, you ever uh, partake in that type of uh, action? I plead the fifth. Uh, so I asked this right, wait, tall, wait, we got sexy theory on the stranger fifth thing. who that happens means, to that be really. Yes, yes. Well, you the know, fifth, if there's significant absolutely. other wants you to experiment, you. Hey, there you go. You Please bite the him. pillow. You roll over on your belly. You bite the pillow. <laughs> bite that pillow, right? Yeah. <laughs> Little fists clenching and unclenching. Oh. And I couldn't talk about it. Did you like it or not? Did it steam? <laughs> Ow, it's it, it hurt a little, that's all I'll say. Oh, right. no, you're honest. I like that. But you know, you wanted to do it one time, I gave it a try. Only once? Well, I pleaded. Ah, <laughs> so I a few the times. The like, once, he realized it was not too bad. No, it, it just, you know, you try to, you know, don't you try to please your significant others? You do what they want, right? Certainly. There you go. There you go. So you figured it out. I just try to please my doctor at this point, so. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't saying, hip, hip, cheerio. <laughs> Give it up, then. <laughs> and all that sort of rot. <laughs> okay. No, wasn't the English counterfeiter? The English counterfeiter. Yeah. Was it him? No. Oh, I no. thought it was him. Somebody it was else. the Secret Service agent, so he didn't arrest her. No. No, no, no. This is a few years after that. Oh, okay. So I asked this tall, sexy stranger who happened to be really fucking hot if he'd like to go for a drink. I could really use a stiff one. Ah, I bet. <laughs> he smiled and laughed, obviously getting my drift. Well, where do you want to go? Uh-oh. Yes. Okay. I see. Program complete. Starker Patty, you know that uh, Dee Dee is becoming a star on this. She's great on this Dee Dee. program. I think she's awesome. I'm enjoying she her. Awesome. I like we, her. She's the best news person. And, I think. and we get a lot more out of her. She talks <laughs> um, about having sex uh, yeah. in the butt. She talks about uh, blacking out. Yes. <laughs> well, I've always had my wits about me. 